Hello, it's Matt again from Tubby Tarot and welcome to 10 Talk Tuesday. Today, I want to share a personal experience that happened to me at the India Day Fair in Durban. That's coming up right after this. Okay, now I want to talk to you about fake mediums, fake card readers and fake psychics. I went to the India Day Fair today and while I was walking around, there was a lady at a table, big banners up, proclaiming she was this, that and the next thing, blah, blah, kinesiologist, um, healing touch therapist, NLP therapist, that's Neuro Linguistic Programming, go and Google it, it's very interesting. Um, she did Reiki, she did this, she did that, she did the laying on of hands, she could use crystals to heal any kind of illness. Anyway, we got chatting because I was quite interested in this. I was kind of very, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge skeptic. So I tend to, I tend to like want to know about these things. And of course, I don't tell anyone that I'm actually a tarot reader. I like to just hear what they have to say. Anyway, we're chatting, chatting. And this woman suddenly tells me that your mother passed away recently. And I was quite taken aback by that uh, because my mother actually passed over last April. And then she started telling me, so I said, yes, you know, my mom passed away. Well, that opened the floodgates. I was told that my mother is now at peace. She has come to realize that she has made peace with my, with my previous life. And she is very sorry for um, casting me aside. And she is now at peace with her sister who passed away. And as this lady was talking, I was thinking... Oh my God, this is not my mother. If you are speaking to anyone, you're speaking to a complete stranger because the person you are speaking to, that's just not my mom. Anyway, I kind of cut the lady short and I wasn't rude and I didn't say to her, you know what lady, you're actually talking a load of shite. Um, but I sort of cut her short and we, uh, my fiance and I walked, walked on. And the more I got to thinking about this, the more I realized that so many people are conned um, by this kind of thing. So many people are bamboozled because they don't really know what to look for. Um, this woman had all her qualifications hung out there like dirty laundry. She just got everything wrong. Now, yes, sometimes you can get a couple of things wrong. If you say you're a psychic medium, um, then yeah, of course, you're not going to get everything 100%. And I'm sure that when those spirits whisper, you've got to really listen carefully. Um, she was, of course, at a fate where there was noise and music, so perhaps she couldn't hear very well. Um, however, she did get everything wrong. It was a complete disaster for her. So how do you spot somebody who is not really qualified? Or let's put it this way, somebody who is a wannabe psychic medium tarot reader, whatever. So alarm bells should go off when these sort of things come to light. Number one, the person that you are going to for a reading or a, a psychic session, they want to charge you for things. So they will say to you, you have to buy this candle. And this candle is going to cost you $40. And it is going to be the only candle that will get rid of the negative energy. Or they will say to you, this, it's not a talisman, this is my ink, but <laughs> this talisman, this pendant is the only thing that is going to help you get rid of the, the negative energy in your life. You have to pay $150 for this. Okay. As soon as somebody starts talking cuck like that, you know that there's something fishy going on. The second sort of sign to look out for is over advertising. I am very suspicious about people who over advertise. They get big banners printed, massive professional handout pamphlets, that sort of thing. Um, it just comes on a bit too strong for me and I feel that they are trying to compensate for something. Perhaps that something is their lack of actual knowledge. Um, the third thing I think you need to be very aware of is if you are at a fate or a fair or if you phone someone up out of the paper and say, look, I'd like to come for a reading and they're incredibly pushy. Don't let anyone try and convince you to have a reading. If you want a reading, you will know that you want a reading, you will go in and you will have the reading. 
it's not for someone to push you into having a reading because I don't believe that that is how it works. I believe that you as a person need to want to go, you need to be ready to go to someone to have a reading done. The other thing I think you need to be aware of, and I think most of us are, is not only the advertising trappings, but the whole ensemble, okay, where you would go in and there would be a shop and you'd go in and there'd be the dark drapes and there'd be the crystal ball on the table and there'd be the, the woman with the turban and the, the gypsy earrings. And I think I have spoken about this before in another video where I have said that the more trappings there are, um, the more stuff that the medium or the reader needs to rely on, the more I would be suspicious. So yeah, if there is too much stuff that these mediums or this person is relying on, be very wary. Now, please don't get me wrong. Uh, there are amazing mediums and spiritualists and card readers out there. Um, a lot of people actually don't advertise. I know a lot of tarot readers um, and people who are into cartomancy and that sort of thing and psychics, they rely solely on word of mouth. They don't need printed bits of paper and huge advertising banners. They're good at what they do and their reputation precedes them. And they are the people that you should look out for. They are the people you need to um, perhaps ask around about. You'll be surprised at how many people actually know either somebody at work carries a little turn of cards around with them or someone might say to you, oh yes, you know, Doreen down the road, I heard that she actually is into all this stuff. You could then go to Doreen and Doreen might not be a tarot reader, but she might actually be into the whole esoteric um, uh, lifestyle. She might even be your local neighborhood witch. How do you know that she isn't, you know? Um, and she can then perhaps help you. So the way really from, from my side, the best advice I can give you about finding a reputable um, tarot reader or psychic or medium is to go on word of mouth. Somebody will recommend somebody to you. Um, I'm certainly not going to recommend someone I've gone to and they've been a complete, it's, got, it's been a complete mess. Like I certainly will not um, recommend the lady from this morning. If she had kept her mouth shut and she hadn't tried to oversell, she would have actually been fine. I would have been like, okay, you know what, this chick knows what she's talking about, but she oversold. And I think that's another thing that you need to look out for is if someone tries to oversell themselves and they say, I can do Reiki, I can do holistic healing, I can do crystals, I can do this, I can do that, I can do the next thing. For God's sake, pick a medium. I don't put a banner out there saying, I do all of these things because sometimes it's just so overwhelming for somebody. You, are, you come along, you want a tarot reading and you next minute you see this billboard and this person does everything and at the bottom it says tarot reader. Very few people who do this whole overselling thing are genuine, okay? If you're a genuine uh, psychic or a genuine medium or a genuine card reader, you don't have to do that. You don't have to have the billboards. Um, you just have to know that what you do is, is great and that you are actually great at what you do. So I hope that's kind of helped you in, help in finding a way to choose somebody who is reputable. If you are at a fete or a, a gathering or a fun day and you see a tarot reader, go over to them, have a bit of fun, let them pay your, your $5 or your $10 or your 50 Rand or whatever currency or your six pounds or whatever you use. Go and support them, but make sure that it's not a serious thing. Go and support them for fun, okay? Go and have a 10 minute reading. It's great fun. It's, it's fantastic. They are, if they are a true medium or a true, um, a true person, somebody who knows what they're doing, they will not try and push you. They will keep it light. They will keep it fun. And what they will do then is they will give you their card and they'll say, you know what? I think you should perhaps come and see me. Um, give, me a, give me a call. Give me a call sometime. That is how it works. It's not, oh my gosh, your mother's come through. I'm in a tent. There's music blaring. There are people walking past with samosas in their hands. That is not when your loved one is going to come through, okay? Um, so be a little skeptical. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up because I've gotta go edit this video down to 10 minutes and I think I'm already at 15. Be blessed, 
I'm Matthew from Tabby Terra saying, I'll see you on the flip side.